Guys, I know the title of today's video is kind of going to sound very dramatic, but it is actually why I dislike the acronym SMMA. So in today's video, it's going to be completely different. I'm going to break down just some stuff to get off the top of my head. I need you guys to listen to this because honestly, if I was thinking like this before, I'd probably be making probably close to 150 to maybe even 200K per month. I mean, I'm not far. I've hit like 90K months, you know, previously before. So I'm actually not too far off those marks, but I feel like I'd be further in my journey if somebody sat me down and told me what I'm about to tell you guys. And I guess this is the reason why, should I say, that I dislike the acronym SMMA. Now, first and foremost, let me just make something abundantly clear, right? I think SMMA is a great business model to start, right? If you're a complete beginner and you're kind of looking for a way to go from like zero to 10K, I genuinely think it has its purpose. I think that's a great business model, even in 2023, if you do it correctly, using like short form content or a trending service out there in a specific niche, it can work. And I've seen many, many students, even just this week, pick up brand new Rolexes, hit like a, I've had a student hit like a 22K month, literally last month, he just told me about, was, about that was well, actually 22 to 26K. I've seen people fly out their parents. SMA is a, a, an amazing business model. I wake up pretty much every day, every other day from a student of mine, not plugging a program or anything like that, but I wake up from a student of mine that has actually used my program, landed a client, and they've been able to close clients so much that they've been able to pay off their frigging mom's credit card debts and shit like that. So I'm not saying the SMA is a bad business model. What I'm trying to say is that there's this, it's kind of like this environment um, around SMA. It puts your brain into a box is what I'm trying to say. Let me give you an example, guys. You guys keep hearing the word SMA over again. And it's kind of like we're in this echo chamber. This is what I don't like about SMA. It gets your brain stuck inside of this echo chamber. Like most people, here's what they do when they hear SMA. They just think of Facebook ads, e-commerce brands or local businesses. And then what they do is they go after the same frigging niches over and over again, whether that's lawyers, attorneys, like, you know, law firms basically, or it's like real estate, gyms, restaurants, chiropractors, solar companies. It's the same shit over and over and over and over and over again. And it's the same service, which is just Facebook ads or even TikTok ads. These days people are, are you know, sw switching out Facebook ads for TikTok. And I'm thinking like, you guys are just, you, you're all thinking still one dimensionally, not even two dimensionally at this point. Let me give you an example. I remember literally starting my agency way back. It was a 23rd of April, 2018. I'll never forget, right? And ever since I announced it, I was dropping videos and documenting my journey and you know, I was failing and I was fucking up and I was not good at running this 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 agency stuff and I didn't land my first client for like 16 months. It was it was terrible. But throughout that entire time, right, guys, there were people hitting me up along the journey through, you know, me just documenting my journey, showing people transparently that I am not where I want to be with my agency or right? at all. Like I'm actually still struggling, still living in my parents' bedroom. I literally was making videos in my parents' bedroom. So there was no way I was trying to hide or act, act like I was further ahead than I actually am. You can look back at my channel right now to confirm that, by the way. There were people still hitting me up every single day, right? Still trying to get me to teach them one thing or another. So what I, sh I, what I should have really decided to do, guys, is listen to what people really wanted. So I was on YouTube making YouTube videos about SMA, right? And people were coming to me. These were other agency owners. These were other people that were like in, in like service-based businesses. And they were literally saying to me like, Montel, how are you going about getting leads? Because one of my main problems right now with my business, I know that you're not, you know, crazy successful or anything like that. That's what people were saying to me. Can you just teach me how to go about getting leads? Because in my business, we rely on a very kind of like three-step process where we do a lead sourcing. You know, we, we find leads first, then we set an appointment, and then we get on that appointment or meeting and we close that meeting. But the problem is, is that we're not getting enough meetings because we're not, we're not even able to collect enough leads to reach out to in the first place to set up the appointments. So I... I if I was thinking and really hearing that back in the day that, and knowing what I know now, what I would have done is I probably would have come up with a lead generation agency. This is literally the market telling me what the market wanted. There were people sending me DMs. Do you know what, the, do you know what that's equivalent of? That's, the, that's akin to somebody coming around and knocking on your door, right? Whilst you're trying to build a house. And they, they're asking me like, Montel, where did you get the door from? Can you show me how you got the door or how you got these products together? And I'm there like, look, I'm not an expert at this sort of stuff. I'm just trying to build my own house. As you can see, it's not really built itself. And, and they were literally saying, but I, we don't care about that. Can you literally just show us where you got these products from or this thing from or that thing from, or can you help me or can you consult me on this thing? So what I should have decided to do is, 
instead of building the agency, right, the social media marketing agency, what I should have done is started listening to what the market wanted and started creating what you call a service-based business instead. I could have literally created a secondary business or even a, a primary business where my business was helping other agencies just generate leads. And I would, and they would pay me on a monthly basis to do lead generation for other agencies. I could have literally created an agency that does lead generation for other agencies. This, by the way, is not selling a course. So it's not about getting rich, trying to teach people how to get rich, teaching people how to get rich. It's not that. It's not online like coaching or anything like that. It's literally people saying, Montel, I need leads for my business. Can you help me get leads? I'm an agency owner you know, trying to start up just like you. Can you teach me how you're getting leads? You've got a very good system for that. I will literally pay you to, to get me leads. There were people that, t that literally said that. I didn't really think, you know, outside of the box. And the reason for that, because I was trapped like most of you guys are. Here's what kind of trapped me. I just said in my head, right, that I want to build a social media marketing agency. I'm, and that's it, I was done. I wasn't really listening to what the market wanted. And this is where I was going wrong. I want to offer Facebook ads to this niche. And I just go out, I just try to go out there and force Facebook ads down people's niches without any doing any research or anything like that. I, I was like chasing this way and people were chasing me whilst I was chasing that way. I should have literally just turned around, look at what people were literally tra chasing me for and said, okay, I could offer that as a service because I genuinely was good at lead sourcing. So my point here, guys, is that Sometimes you need to slow down and actually listen to what the market's telling you. Not only that, but also make sure that you're thinking outside of the box. If everybody is turning left and running left, you want to run right. If everyone's turning right, you want to, if everyone's zigging, you want to zag. If everyone's zagging, you want to zig, is what I'm trying to say. So what I should have done in that situation is listen to the market and I should have started a lead generation agency for other agencies. I am not even joking. There are people in this industry right now that are doing the same thing and they're making ridiculous amounts of money. I think there was a dude that made like, I think it was like 500K or something like that in a single month, just doing like a very simple lead generation agency where he puts like appointment setters into your agency for you and stuff like that. I think that was the actual number, but it was absolutely insane to see that like, even back in the day, I was literally being hit up by other agency owners telling me that they want this service. So my kind of like premise on this and this reason why I'm doing this video is because the word SMA, the acronym SMMA, locks you guys into a box of just doing either social media management or Facebook advertising or paid advertising, right? Either, and then sometimes people, you know, get a little bit more outside of the box and they think of like email marketing or like, or Google ads. That's kind of outside of, of social media, I guess. What this SMA stuff has done for, to our brains, I mean, it's a great business model, but I'm just saying that it's not the only way to create an agency right? Because what an agency is, a social media marketing agency is, it's a service-based business model. It, it's basically a service-based business model, but the main premise of it is that you're helping people with social media. It's not just social media that can help businesses or paid ads that can help businesses. You can go out there and start a cybersecurity agency where you actually help people on a monthly basis or even create a software for this, for example, or you create a SaaS around this where you're actually, you know, people are paying you on a monthly basis to do their cybersecurity for them. You can even create what like you call like a consulting business where you're helping other people either like lose weight or you're helping people overcome some sort of addiction. Maybe it's a video game addiction or a haram online video addiction. You know what videos I'm talking about or some sort of alcohol addiction or you're helping people speak clearly into mics. I keep using this example um, recently. I actually came across a dude that, you know, started a YouTube channel and all he talks about on, on his YouTube channel was, is literally how to speak clearly. This dude ha literally has a YouTube channel on how to speak clearly Create, say, creates videos on this and then now sells like a online program, you know, course type thing where it's helping people how to, how to speak clearly, which is a very valuable skill. So what I'm trying to say guys is that don't limit yourself just to doing Facebook ads or social media management or TikTok ads or like TikTok videos. Those are great services by the way to offer. But what I'm trying to say is don't let the acronym SMMA stop you from, from you know, venturing out there and thinking outside of the box and start thinking three dimensionally. Thinking like one dimensionally would be like, oh, I'm going to do Facebook ads for real estate ag agents. I've been hearing that over and over and over and over and over again. What's actually starting to impress me is when people come to me with business models such as Montel, I want to help people, right? On a monthly basis, learn a said skill that's going to help them land a job in the cybersecurity field. Or I want to help people start and become like engineers out of college, for example or electricians out of, I want to help people start electrician kind of like businesses. I've, what's the word I'm looking for there? I think it's like electricity businesses, electric, like becoming like an, an electrician, which, you know, and then they can actually start their own business. Or I want to help people start their own window cleaning business. Like I've, I've never heard anybody say that. 
those are what you call blue ocean ideas where you're starting to think outside of the box now. Don't get me wrong, it's still a service-based business because you're still providing a service or you can go into consulting if you're really good at something, you become an expert at that. But what I'm trying to say is that the word SMMA has got us locked in to this perpetual cycle of us just thinking of Facebook ads, us just thinking of you know social media management or TikTok and that sort of stuff. And again, I'm not saying that this is bad stuff. I'm just saying that sometimes you might need to start thinking outside of the box if you've really been in the industry for a minute and you keep seeing like certain people ask you, for example, if you've got like a YouTube channel and you're making like content out there on your SMA and you're documenting your journey if you're, if you're doing that and people are coming to you for certain things like, can you help me build out funnels? Well, then maybe you should start building a funnel building agency for other agencies or you help other agencies with their VSL. That could be a good service. You help agencies create a VSL and then drive traffic to that there you go there's an agency idea for you right there so it doesn't just have to be just doing facebook ads you know what i'm trying to say you maybe you can help online coaches right take their live mentorship program and put it into a online program so they can actually scale it more i know for a fact that i'd really love that like even, even for me like i genuinely have a online mentorship program it's called um, hybrid agency 2.0 brand new one if somebody was able to take that and put it into an online course for me, that'd be amazing. Like quite literally, if I could just give it to you, you just go and make an online program from it. Obviously I'd probably need to be there and a lot of work going back and forth, but it'd be like a monthly reoccurring thing. That'd be amazing. I've seen people actually do that by the way. So just trying to get you guys to think outside of the box. Sometimes instead of in a gold rush, it's better to sell the shovel than the gold or, or always is. So start thinking outside of the box guys, like appointment setting for other agencies, doing Facebook ads for other agencies that are already established so they can get more clients building out a video sales letter for other agencies. Or even if you don't wanna go that route, you can go down like helping people with their cybersecurity or helping people create funnels and stuff like that. Or even helping other people build personal brands. Or you're helping them build a personal brand, you come up with a video ideas, you come up with the content ideas, you cut up their videos, you post it on them, you try to get them you know, likes, followers, you boost them, that sort of stuff. Like a whole package type thing. So there you go, get out of the mindset of you just need to do SMA because SMA is just one sliver of what a service business, a service-based business could be. You could even do cold calling. You could, you could hire a team of cold callers, right? for like local businesses and put those cold callers inside of a business. It's almost like a recruitment agency at that point, where it's like you maybe have like a team of remote closers or even customer service. Let's say you've got a, a team of customer service virtual assistants, right? And you've trained them up, right? What you can do is then start approaching other businesses and saying, look, or e-commerce brands, look, I know that one of the big things in, you know, when it comes to e-commerce brands is handling customer service in your, in your industry. And then what you could do is say, look, we offer done for you customer service where you don't have to worry about that. There you go. There's a service-based business. I've never heard anybody say a customer service agency that helps over e-commerce brands. I bet you any money, none of you have heard that that's actually watching this video. And again, that could probably work because I know that service, you know, customer service is actually important for all businesses. So if you've got like a way to help people, you know, like install or just plug in a whole bunch of like customer service virtual assistants with your customer service agency into their business, they'll probably pay you on a monthly basis for that. More, than, more likely they, they, they actually would, unless they've got some sort of software that handles this for them, which in that case, you could then start looking into building your own SaaS, your own software using like open, AP, uh, open APIs and chat GPT and all that crazy stuff. So guys, just think outside the box is what I'm trying to say to you guys. Start thinking more two dimensionally and even three dimensionally. If you can go four dimensionally, that would be like software to be honest with you. That's like the, the next, 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 next step would be like fourth dimensional thinking, which would be like SaaS. But guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to get this off of my head because I'm tired of seeing people not fall for SMA, but it's like they get into SMA and then they're just so locked into SMA that they forget to think. They honestly just forget to think. They don't even try to think. They just think Facebook ads, yes, we we'll do Facebook ads because Guru said it. And then we'll go after one of the industries, one of the verticals, you know, that would be like health and fitness, AKA gyms, restaurants, spas, real estate agents, dentists. It's always the same shit guys over and over again. It's probably why none of you guys are skinning to your agencies at 10K per month. Cause you're not thinking outside the box. Or if you're trying to just do the average Facebook ads for one of those industries, you really need to start building a brand or looking into the hybrid system for sure, guys. Anyway, guys, that's enough for today's video. Just want to give you guys some food for thought. Hope you guys can see I'm genuinely trying to help you guys and make you guys think outside the box. I'm probably one of the only dudes on YouTube that's actually even talking about this sort of stuff, to be honest with you guys. Most dudes are just trying to sell you their course on like how to start SMA, which is cool and all, and they probably genuinely can help. Think about it. If you go and buy someone's program right now, and you know, hypothetically speaking, somebody like forces you with a gun to your head to make this shit work, 
chances are you're gonna make that shit work is what I'm trying to say. So courses do work is what I'm trying to say. It's just that I'm at least trying to get you guys to not only build the agency, but at least think bigger than the agency and then start going into maybe your own consulting business, own online program, become your own personal brand. And you, I want you guys to build yourself sort of like Tony Robbins built his, his name up and stuff like that. Iman Gaji built his name up and stuff like that. I want you to become that, not just a consumer of that. I want you to be a producer of that is what I'm trying to say. That's the difference between my channel and everybody else's channel. Anyway, guys, hope that you're doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you look out for some of my, my next videos up and coming. I have got some bangers coming your way, guys. I am not even joking. I'm turning this content up like 100%. Enough blabbing from me. Comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, all that good stuff. Love you guys. Peace.